Hello, in this video I will show you how you can use the Visual Arc Inside Revit workflow to transfer all your visual models into Revit. So, uh, once we've got our visual model ready, um, we can close Rhino. And here in Revit, we will load a Grasshopper definition here in this toolbar, which uh, will allow us to transfer our visual models with just one click. You can find this Grasshopper definition in the link which is in the description of this video. Okay, once we've got our uh, definition uh, to load it, we can go to more options and here in scripts, add script location. Uh, we browse to the folder with, uh, where our definition is, we select it and uh, click OK. Okay, so here it is. Um, so now all we have to do is just click on it and our uh, visual model will be transferred uh, to Revit. We can see that we've got all the objects that we had in Visual Arc and well, all of them are um, created in a, in a Revit category. Uh, for example, this stair is created in the stairs Revit category. And if we look at other kind of geometry, for example, uh, Rhino geometry, which is also transferred by uh, this uh, definition, is uh, by default created in like a generic model. And for example, this column is created in the columns uh, category. If we look at uh, all the kind of objects, like for example, a slab or a wall, we can see that um, the visual styles have been uh, transferred as Revit types so that we keep all the information that we had defined in Visual Art. For example, the name, but also the, the layer structure, the wall layers. Uh, we see that we've got the thickness of every layer, the wrapping options, the sample height, um, everything that we have de defined in the, in the Visual Art style. Okay, so now let's close uh, this window. Um, uh, well, what if we need to keep on working in our visual model? Well, that's not a problem. We can uh, do it and just update the, um, the Revit model afterwards. Okay, so what we can do now is we can change uh, the uh, aperture of this door and let's create a, a new window. Okay, and now that we have it ready, we have made a few changes in the visual model. Uh, okay, so now we can just click again on the visual icon and we see that our model has been updated. Um, so uh, what we are going to do next is, um, well, as I said before, this definition uh, also transfers Rhino geometry. Uh, but we can um, define in which category we, uh, we want that uh, Rhino geometry uh, to be created in Revit. So uh, we are going to create here um, uh, well, a surface which will be uh, uh, well, it will be used as a column, and with IFC we can um, choose uh, in the category, the Revit category, where we will where this column will be created. So we will choose in this case IFC column. And, uh, well, let's uh, place the column in its place. Okay, so let's delete these curves. And, uh, okay, now if we close uh, Rhino, uh, we can update uh, the Revit model again in the same way, just clicking on the Visual Arc icon. So here we have the column. And if we select it, uh, we can see that it is uh, it was Rhino geometry, but uh, with the IFC uh, features, uh, we could choose the, um, the category where we want it to be created. Okay, so uh, the following uh, step uh, is going to be that, well, we are going to create uh, parameters. Uh, well, for example, name and description, which are already created. Let's say main door, and this is the main door for the, for the description. And let's create a new one, which is going to be called uh, manufacturer. Uh, in the general visual category and well the value is going to be company so this all these parameters and values will be transferred also to mm, Revit uh, in the same way just clicking on the visual icon to update the, 
the model. So, okay, um, now we have it updated. So here we have in this door uh, all the values and new parameters that we have, uh, we have just created.